Don't mess every new day with yesterday. When we go through life, it's a journey. And suppose, say, the previous juncture of your of our driving, you know, we took a sudden abrupt turn, or somebody cut across our road, that might annoy us. But now, when we are driving, we will focus on the traffic in front of us, and we will deal with that traffic, because that is what we have to navigate. So normally, we won't let thoughts about the past drives come in the way of our present driving. Unfortunately, while this is easily understandable and applicable at the physical level, at the mental level, it's not that easy. We go through a journey in time every day, and every day is a fresh new day. It's an opportunity for us to make a new beginning, to take fresh steps forward. But we often mess today with yesterday. Oh, yesterday I made this mistake. Oh, yesterday that person did like that to me. Oh, yesterday that terrible thing happened. And as those thoughts keep coming in our mind and we keep dwelling on them, we start feeling depressed, irritated, disheartened. More, we become morose, and thus we are unable to tap the potential of today. The Bhagavad Gita talks about such a mentality of negativity as characteristic of the mode of ignorance. In 18.35 it says, Yaya swapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vacha navimunjati durmedha druti sa partha tamasi says that druti sa partha tamasi this is determination in the mode of ignorance when people actually get so caught in the past, the daydreaming about the future, oh yes, apnam, bhayam, being fearful of this may go wrong, that may go wrong, shokam, oh that went wrong, that went wrong, vishadam, oh, things always go wrong, madam, better forget everything, just drink your way out of trouble, navimunchati dur, medha, although none of these kind of attitudes or behaviors do us any good, still if we keep doing these, we don't give them up. It's misdirected intelligence. Na vimunchati durmedha, druti sa partha tamasi. This is ignorance. Now, at one level, with common sense, we can understand that there's no need to act like this. But still, our conditionings will make us act that way. That's why we need to connect with the unconditioned Lord. We need to connect with Krishna. When we connect with Him, we'll find that by the power of bhakti, not only will we be able to resist the mind's pushings because our intelligence will be convinced. Okay, even if terrible things have happened in the past, Krishna can bring good even out of the bad. Krishna is not so upset with me. He has given me one more new day to function. So let me function. Let me move on in my life. And when we do that, we move forwards. We attain. We are able to fulfill our potentials. We are able to do justice to the opportunity that today has brought for us. And thus, we can move forwards towards progress and success, materially and spiritually, by ensuring that we don't mess today and its opportunities with yesterday and its mistakes. Thank you. Hare Krishna.